Tonight I'm making bouillabaisse, or my own version of. Which everyone has their own version, I'm just going with a sort of vaguely traditional one. Every single family in Marseille has their own recipe for it, so you know, really, well, as long as you've got fish orange and the right kind of fish and plenty of garlic here and olive oil and tomatoes and red peppers, you're, you're, you're probably okay. It's all about making your good stock, you see, and your sieve stock. Sort of bony, small rock fish that are caught around the harbour that had little value and they couldn't sell, so they just made it into a soup for themselves, so the fishermen made this soup. It's a way of using up the sort of bycatch that they couldn't sell. Another part of the fish stock here, and I've added a good cup of olive oil, a can of um, anchovy fillets, and I'm also going to add some dried chilli. Mm -hmm. Not not a massive amount, but you know it's good. we're making quite a lot of soup, so I'm going to put a good good sprinkle in that. You do need a little bit of heat in it, but and I'm going to add garlic to that. So I've got six large crushed cloves of jar garlic here, so plenty of garlic. And I'm going to start slowly cooking that. In fact, I'm going to add the vegetables in a minute. Add the leeks and the and the red pepper and the onion. Cool. In fact, you can watch them go now. They can go now actually. So to that we've got. I've got a couple of small onions and I've also got going in there a red pepper as well get a bit of colour because you want you want the your best sort of fish broth to be a sort of ready orange colour so it's good to get a few red vegetables in there and we've also got also two two cans of tomatoes going in there as well so I'll give that a good 10 minutes sort of cooking over a sort of medium heat yeah. if you've got it fresh in the garden great but we're using um, a bit of dried here but we can probably use all of that, or most yeah, of it. Yeah, go for it. Go on, it's got to taste good. There you go. There's no time at the present. No, no time. You've got to use your time up now and again. Mm. Yeah. And that's another traditional thing. I haven't seen many Bouillabaisse recipes that don't have orange zest in them. Thyme, orange zest and fish. For this dish, fish is generally cut into sort of quite large chunks. So like mouthful sized chunks. So you want sort of good good sized chunks like that. Generally the French have at least 10 people around for dinner when they have this dish. The more people, the more fish they say, so they try and get more varieties of fish in. Right, we've got some good fish here. We've got cod, haddock, gurnard, sea bass, mussels. Look at that. And that's, that's the garlic, thyme, onion, Peppers, olive oil. I mean, I can just let that shimmer now. Mm. So I'm making two of these, and these I think are about the equivalent of one can of tomatoes. Traditionally, the French they get a, a fresh baguette, and they slice it up thinly. They lightly toast them, and they put their homemade rouard, which is a coriander, garlic, and chili uh, mayonnaise, mm. basically. Wow. And they call it rouard, and then that is spread over the um, toasted bread, which is then just dropped into the um, into the soup. Mmm, I think so. Mmm. Mmm. That's olive oil, two egg yolks, chilli, dried chilli, coriander and garlic. Okay. I'm going to add the mussels now. You want to you know, get them out quick before they shrink down to nothing? They'll be served on the top. There you go, look at that. And I am going to add half a glass of sherry as well. Put your fish in. And that will cook pretty quickly in there. I'm going to put a bit of rouard on each of those. So seven minutes you say? Yeah, until the, well, you know, you can take, you can look at the fish, take a bit out. Make sure you're happy with it. Look at those chunks. Yeah. Oh. Right, mussels in now. Yeah. That's it, it's done. Yourself a bit of liquor and they get dropped in. 